The word liturgy itself is a very interesting word in the tradition of the church. In recent times, a lot of people have defined liturgy simply as the work of the people. But in order to fully participate in the liturgy, we've got to have a deeper understanding of it. It's what I call the triple nuance of the word liturgy. So liturgy, the word, is made up of two Greek words. The first part, laos, means people. It's the L-I-T part of the word. And it's the same Greek word from which we get the English word laity. The second part, the orgi, or the ergon in Greek, means work. It's the same Greek word from which we get the English cognate energy. These two things put together makes the liturgy somehow the work of the people. But we've got to get deeper into the nuance of it because it's not simply the people's work. The second nuance is that the liturgy is the work of Christ done on behalf of the people. So when we understand that Christ himself is the principal liturgist, we can see that he's the one doing the work for the people because they are not able to accomplish salvation on their own. The third nuance is that the liturgy is the work of God in which the people participate. Again, from the Greek world, we have to dip into our Greek mythology, and that is that the best way to worship God is to imitate God. So if your God is Dionysius, the best way to worship God is to have a drink. If your God is Poseidon, the best way to worship God is to go fishing. But if your God is the God of salvation, if your God is the God of mercy and forgiveness, if your God is the one who sings the eternal love song, then in the liturgy we imitate God and thus worship God as God wants to be worshiped. So in the liturgy we have these three nuances. First of all, that the liturgy as the work of the people means that the people have got to be engaged in it. Secondly, that the liturgy is the work done on behalf of the people by Christ because he is the one that can say the perfect prayer to the Father. And thirdly, that the liturgy is the work of the people imitating the work of God so that in the liturgy these three things come together and God is praised.